Howdy. What's up, everybody? It is Thursday, October 18th. Thanks for joining us today for Live with Lee and Haley. I'm Haley. That's Lee. Okay, so on the show, oh, we got some puppy dogs. Yes, we do. In the uh, green room that look fantastic. Yes, we are talking about Halloween costumes for dogs. Yeah. Our friends from Pet Value are here, and they're showing us off some of the uh, trendiest Halloween costumes for dogs this year. So I'm excited about that. And then we went and visited the uh, United Elite Cheerleading Training Center. That's what I meant. Yes, uh, it is cheerleading training center over yeah. in Nicholasville, uh, where they teach them all the skill sets you need to be a successful cheerleader, possibly even to get some scholarship. In, yeah, in college. Yeah, but this one over there, she was she, you know, trying to relive the glory days and didn't hurt herself. I didn't. So, so we're very proud of that. I, You'll see that when we yes. come back. We were all very pleasantly surprised that yeah. I did not bomb in some way, but yeah. The good old days. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a great piece. So hi to our friends at United Elite. If you guys are watching today, we hope that you are. Um, anything new with you? What's going on? Nothing. How well, about you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, I talked to my grandmother on the phone this morning, my dad's mom, and I just love her. Do you call your... Do you have any living grandparents still? No, thanks for bringing that Sorry, up. Sorry, as I started to say, do you call them? <laughs> I thought, no, you're much older than me, so maybe not. Uh-huh. No, I lost them all. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's a great show we're doing yeah, now, things isn't are, it? Yeah, things are really, really comfortable right now. Yeah. Do you call your dad? Do you call your dad often? He won't take my calls. He won't take your yeah. calls. Now, what were you saying about, was it, now is this uh, June? The, no, that's my mom's mom. Oh, okay. This is Julia, Julia. My dad's mom. Okay. Julia Harmon. Grandma Harmon. And I called her this morning and, gosh, call your grandparents. It was just so sweet. I try to think in my head, and sometimes I'll try to... Um, put it in my planner because don't you feel like life just flies by and you don't call the people that are most important to you and right. a month will go by and you won't have talked to your grandparents or mm -hmm. you know your you know your brother or your sister so I'd had it on my calendar I probably had not talked to her in a month and I was feeling so guilty about it and mm -hmm. so I called her yesterday I didn't get her left her a voicemail and she called me back this morning and we started chatting and she said I've just got to be honest and so what she said she's 94 94 okay. years old still lives alone kicking wow. going I hope to be like Miss Harmon that's fantastic yes um, and she just said, she said, Haley Catherine, she always calls me by my full name, always. Mm -hmm. She said, Haley Catherine, I just want you to know I listened to your voicemail and it just brought tears to my eyes. You just care and you just call me. And that just, oh, that's it my, almost made me tear up because oh, it was that, just That makes so me feel so much better because I thought she was going to say, I couldn't understand a word of it. You talk too fast and we've let you down as a family. Right. Yeah. That's good. Do you want to know what your grandparents said? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Too much. You're going to take Too a much. shot at my grandparents. <laughs> no. Said, you know what? I didn't have to put it in the calendar. I called my grandmother every day, lady. Oh, please. Every day. Prove it. I got, well, just ask anybody because I was the favorite. Okay. Let me Can get... you claim that? Probably not since you don't oh. ever call. <laughs> well, I'm going to do better. I, you know what? I'm going to start calling Julia and June. Oh, because that won't creep them out. They'll love it. I'm calling, ladies. Haley, a random I'm man who it. says he works. You wait. You called me. I'm calling, uh, what is it, Mama June? No, that's no. not right. No. Uh, Grandma June and Julia, every day, I'm bringing the heat and the love. Here no, it comes. I'm not giving you their phone numbers. Absolutely not. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm not done. I want to share something that, oh. she, that Granny told me. Okay. So call your grandparents. That's my first note. Second, I asked her, I said, well, how are yeah. you doing? She said, Put well, it in your calendar. Or I just my tried. God! I didn't put it in my calendar. You I put set a are reminder. As disconnected as anybody I've ever met. I am busy carrying this show. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That's our favorite slam to each other. We always tell each other, "I'm the one carrying this show." So anyway. So I asked her how she was. She said she's good. Her little friends were coming to get her, and they were going to go eat lunch at Captain D's. Mm -hmm. Yes, but then she's, I said, well, how are you? How are things going? She said, things are going really good, and started telling me a couple things, and then I started to say something, and she interrupted me and said, well, well, and I want to let you know. Well, I'm pretty. And I said, I know you are. Mm -hmm. So she just wanted to let me know. She's still looking good, still doing good, so. How old again? She's like 94. It's amazing. So yes, yes. Good for her. Anyway. I can't wait to talk to her today. Oh, wow, yeah. Can't wait for her to block your call. Mm. All right, let's get to today's hot topics, shall we? Hot topics. All right, we want to let you know about a oh, two-headed wow. copperhead snake. This is so cool. It's at the Salado Wildlife Center. Just down the road in Frankfurt. Thank you. Well, a some people don't know. Okay. A couple from Leslie County found it in their front yard. They probably should have called a priest, but they donated <laughs> it for educational purposes. 
Now, they're going to be sharing pictures of the snake until after one. So this is a Live with Lee and Haley exclusive. This is an exclusive, <laughs> even though they showed it at noon. <laughs> well, 1230. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a stock photo. So this may not be oh, the well, snake. Dang. This is just what it would appear like. This is a, re a recreation. This is paper mache. <laughs> okay, well, so that's not I'm the real photo. I'm going to go visit the thing, all right? On Monday uh, for the 4 o'clock show, I'm going to go visit this two-headed snake. Okay, so that's not gonna the actual snake. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Get to the bottom of it. The snake, why do you have two heads? Mm -hmm. you know, the whole do thing. you talk to yourself? Yeah. Do you talk to your other head? Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah, and just go visit our very friends. Very rare. Super rare. Go visit our friends at the Salado Wildlife now, Center. Now, the three-headed, very common. But the two-headed, rare. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Lee knows all about it. He's mm -hmm. going to have the deets for you. But, yeah, the snake exhibit will be open to the public tomorrow. So, right. And just go visit Salado if you haven't. It literally is like a so zoo. Good. I think a lot of people don't yeah. realize what it it's is. They have, we right? went there, what, they have bison. They have a bear. They, I mean, they have... You know, snakes and, and spiders and stuff like that. But fish. They, they have fish. They have, they have like a... Um, Deer. Yeah. Elk. Elk. They have so much to see. Take your kids, take your friends and family. It's a great day and it's a beautiful property. They have two real wildcats. Yep. So, go ask the wildcat to win for UK's next game. Okay. <laughs> Maker's Mark has released its brand new bottle commemorating Justify's 2018 Triple Crown win. Features a photo of horse and jockey Mike Smith winning the Kentucky Derby. The That's bottles gorgeous. will go on sale tomorrow. It's going to be available at most Kentucky liquor stores. Funds from the bottle go to the Kentucky Derby Museum and Parkinson's Research. Bottles are going to cost you 60 bucks. Yes. That's a good looking bottle. That is a the good. The black and green is the first. I haven't seen this combination before. Yeah, I love the black Looks and good. green. I think it does look really good. And yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do people ever actually drink the liquor out of these commemorative sure. bottles? I've heard well, people say people they drill through the bottom. They, you know, because they don't. That's what I've heard people say they do. Like really? if, if you ever see one of these and there's no, oh, cool, I love this, they're making it. We should go do that the, one day. We should. Let's see if they'll let us come there. Yeah, you, people say they'll drill through the bottom and drink, you know, put it into something else so they don't damage, you know, well. the packaging or anything like that up here. Okay. What are you going to do? You're just going to open it as soon as the show's over, yeah, aren't I you? Yeah, I may open it now. Just shatter it against the desk. No, just gonna... christen this desk. Oh, I've got uh, all the... You know, ones that we've had an earthquake. What was that? Was that Jesse? Jesse knocked around? our cameras together. Gun Jesse, Jesse, you can't take him anywhere. Unbelievable. Um, but I've got most of the ones that are affiliated with the basketball team. You well, did. or UK athletics, I should say that. Yeah. Because football too. Yeah. Stoops and where? And where do you keep yours? The bathroom, the men's yeah, room, right there. Just to look at. To display. To display. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A wild deer fight was caught on camera. A police cruiser's dash cam in guys. Blue Ash, Ohio. The girl is mine. <laughs> I think, yeah. That's what I, it's about. Yeah, two bucks smashing their antlers together in the middle of the street. Look at this. They even made it into somebody's yard. Mm -hmm. Officers say they would not tolerate fighter, fighting in the street. Thought it was <laughs> best to let nature take its course. Yeah, yeah you don't want to get in the middle of that. Uh, no. And me, a, a doe comes out from the side and says, I'll date both of you. <laughs> that's what I think happened. Is that what you think? The video cut off, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. An Oregon Zoo has released some animal x-rays just in time for Halloween. The x-rays were taken during routine checkups at the zoo's veterinary center. Featured images including a ball python, Ooh. a flying fox, an inside look at a beaver's tail, and a chameleon. I've always wanted to know the inside look at a beaver's tail. <laughs> There it is. I saw somebody <laughs> posted uh, yesterday on Twitter, same sort of thing. It was an x-ray of a puppy uh, inside its mother's womb. Oh, wow. Hasn't been birthed yet. <coughs> and it, looked, it had the face of a clown. What? Yes, it looked just like a clown. That is terrifying. Why are you x-raying a pregnant dog? I'm making sure everything's okay. That's not healthy, is it? Well. Radiating a puppy like that? I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever been x-rayed? Oh, every day. Every day. Every day I get an x-ray. One time, my dad's a veterinarian. I think I've shared this here. So we sometimes... Frontier Medicine at Frontier the Harmon's? Frontier Medicine. It's like Dr. Harmon Medicine Man. Um, when I was in Sunday school, when I was a little girl, I, had, I got a ring for the baptism when I got baptized when uh -huh. I was younger. Uh -huh. And as a gift for it, my parents got me a, like a pink stone, little gold ring. They called it my baptism ring. And I loved it. I was so proud of it. And it had such meaning. Well, one time when I was in Sunday school, I put it in my mouth. 
and I was just rocking back and forth in the chair, just playing around. Got stuck, swallowed it. Oh. <laughs> so what do my parents do? Well, we don't go to the ER, we don't go to the doctor. Go Harry, to the clinic. We go to the clinic. We go to my dad's bed hospital, puts me down, x-rays me. Oh, he didn't even put you down. No, he didn't with us. Yeah. Right. He did. Yeah. He said, well, who's making the call? Are we putting her down? Yeah. No, so they x-rayed me. We still have the x-rays. And he x-rayed me every day for a couple days as it made its, made its journey. <laughs> still have the ring. Still have the ring to this day. It's in my jewelry box. Oh, it's not still in you. Still not in me. My dad, yeah. And you could see it. It had like really pretty, like, I don't know, like almost filigree around the stone. You could see it. It was beautiful. Still have yeah. the extra. So yeah, had, that thing had two baptisms. It had two baptisms. My mom boiled it on the stove. Mm. Still have it. Thanks, Mom. You're a champ. You remember the moment? That My dad was like, I'll do the x-rays. Pass that, Anne. It's on you. You remember the moment, though, when it officially yeah. passed? Uh... I, I don't, yeah, I do. Okay. I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. I remember oh. the fear when it got stuck here. It was that. Yeah, what do I do? What, uh, so then you just swallow. Oh, yeah, swallowing felt like the only option. So well, then it probably my mom's, was. Yeah, apparently our teacher went into, as I, when I was a kid, I called it Big Church. And went uh -huh. and got my mom and said, oh, Big Church. Haley's having an emergency. <laughs> she swallowed her baptism ring. Wasn't good, so. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention are telling people not to dress up their pet chickens for Halloween this year. The warning is due to a recent drug-resistant salmonella outbreak. Oh, no. The CDC is warning those with live poultry against handling, cuddling, or even dressing up their chickens for Halloween. If you can't dress up your chicken, why are we even celebrating? Yeah. Well. What? I, I didn't, I thought salmonella was an issue. Again, this is how much I know. Right. With Which is very little. Dead it, chickens. Right. You know, before I eat. I touch it, get it in my hands. Yeah, I guess I didn't I realize it was I don't clean or wash. I didn't know just handling a real chicken, I could get salmonella. I can't believe you didn't know that. I feel like everyone knows that. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm, right? <laughs> I didn't yeah, know that. we all knew. Because I love handling my chicken. <laughs> I just can't get enough of it. I just put my hands all over it. Yeah. A family in Columbus, Ohio has displayed a life-size at-at in their front yard. Just Am I say, saying it right? I just say Imperial, at -at? Imperial Walker. Imperial Walker. Um, it's an all-terrain armor transport. The combat yeah. vehicle was featured in four Star Wars movies, and they serve as land transport for the Imperial That's awesome. Army. That thing is huge. I wonder what that it's made out really of. That is really cool. Those kids are lucky. Those kids are lucky. Wish that I would had be that. the most bomb treehouse in the world. Those are today's hot topics. All right, coming up, costumes aren't just for humans. We're taking a look at some of the hottest. We got chickens. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> oh, no chickens. No chickens oh, this year. It. We're talking about dogs and Halloween costumes for them. Coming up next. Stay with us.